Okay, hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we're going to be continuing with more Ravenloft Strud's possession tonight. I've also uh, looked up a bit of the uh, playthrough which I originally looked, uh, which I originally watched for this game. Uh, not beyond what we've done, so you know I haven't refreshed my memory on anything that happens, and I have learned a few things, <laughs> mostly in the controls uh, element of it. I've also been reading the manual and about the uh, various spells in the game. Uh, just so that I know exactly how they work. Uh, let's see. Uh, magical stone. It does do as I thought it did. It summoned three small stones. And the priest can throw them at an opponent for up to 1d4 to four, one D four points of damage. Or 2d4 when used against the undead. They're considered plus one weapons. So, you know, yeah, nice, but three shots. Uh, aid is like bless and confers one to eight extra hit points on the target cast. Uh, that's all it does. I thought it was like a... I, I think I keep getting under the impression that aid is like cure light wounds with a bit of like disease curing on top of it or poison cure on top of it. No, it doesn't cure poison, it doesn't cure disease. It's just like a little buff to your hit points. Uh, one thing that I noted is that apparently Ray's dead uh, is kind of like resurrection. Like, I can't remember whether it's something else in other D&D &D games or not, but to me Ray's dead is more like Oh, your character's dead. Okay, well, you can raise them, but they're going to be a zombie. Rather than, oh, you're raising them from the dead and they're now living again. Uh, apparently, it says when the priest casts the raised dead spell, he or she can restore life to a dwarf, gnome, half-elf, halfling, or human, though they may remain gravely weakened and all but useless to the party for a time. I'm guessing that means that they just come back with, like, one hit point. Uh, unfortunately, full-blooded elves cannot be affected by this spell. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, elves can't be resurrected. Um, or it can't be raised from the day. I, I, I can't really remember exactly the specifics on that. But yeah, apparently it's just like a... We can resurrect. Because we only have uh, up to 6th level priest... 6th level priest spells. And those two, which are listed in the manual here, which I'm looking at, are only harm and heal. So. Uh, mage spells. For magic missile. Uh, it says the mage creates a bolt of magic force that unerringly strikes one target. Well. Um, I've had it miss <laughs> in this. So that's wrong. Uh, magic missile spells do great uh, damage as a mage increases in level. Initially magic missile does 2 to 5 points of damage. So. And for every two extra levels, the spell does two to five more points. So a first or second level magic mage does two to five points of damage, but a third or fourth level mage does four to ten and so on. That's how it usually works, because it's summoning an extra missile every uh, second level or so, or every third level, something like that, right? Um, up to a maximum of five. But in this, it just seems to increase the amount of damage the singular magic missile deals. And the magic missile is just like a force bolt, which you shoot out and hits a target. Uh, apparently, she it says shield is the one which protects the mage from magic missiles and also confers AC2 against hurled weapons, daggers and spears. Darts and spears. Wait, spears are hurled weapons? That'd be a javelin. And AC3 against propelled missiles, arrows, sling stones. Uh, the spell does not have a cumulative effect with the armor spell. Okay. And armor is the one which you can cast on any character. Uh, here's one, actually, just noticing this. Uh, it says blur. The position of a mage when an active blur spell shifts and wavers. The distortion makes the character harder to hit with an attack, and true seeing spell will counter a blur spell. Um, it says area of effect spellcaster, but I'm pretty sure I cast that on my uh, cleric last. Yeah, anyway. 
enough of reading about that. Let's uh, continue playing the game. It's like every time you play one of these CRPGs, you have to read the manual carefully because it's probably going to be doing things differently. Though, that being said, I am grateful that for the most part, one company did most of these games. At least there would be quite a bit of consistency there. Uh, we'll just continue our game. Session one, there we go. And yes, here we are. Now, the other thing which I learned was that I was going down here to click these icons to attack targets, but apparently, uh, for what I watched, I want prayer, not bless. Where? Thank you. Uh, oh, I don't have bless. Uh, I'll just heal you a little bit. Okay, apparently, you could just click on the, uh, characters up here. Yeah, and that would just attack with all my characters. So, makes it much easier. And we're poisoned. Fantastic. But, you know. And, and of course, our mage is dead. But it's just going through all of their attacks when I'm clicking on them, so. That's rather nice. But, uh, we'll reload that. How do I reload it? Oh, up here. That's right. Load. There we go. Okay. Whoop. Step mode's on. Right, so what have we done? We had just gone to see the, uh... Burgermeister of the town. And afterwards, after we talked to him... Uh, that's right. We had taken a carriage and we'd gone to see Strand... Uh, Baron Strad von Zolovich, I think his name is, who gave us a warm welcome to his lands and uh, also gave us a key here telling us about a portal which could potentially uh, help us get out of this place in, I think, caverns? I had to write this down on a piece of paper. Uh, yes. Oh no, okay. <laughs> I didn't write the main plot on this game, of this game down. I wrote down the uh, subplot or a uh, side quest for an old paladin, which uh, I think we have to go and see him again because I reloaded, didn't I? Okay, well. Damn bandits everywhere. There we go. Get out of here. The thing music again? I saw that mentioned last time. Is it similar to that? I haven't... I, I don't really know the uh, theme music for the thing. Oh, is it the dun-dun in the background? Huh. I wonder if it's inspired by it. Oh! Well, you're not a bandit. Sorry, I... I shot you with a magic missile. Good thing you resisted it or something. Apparently we can't hurt, uh, bystanders. It's good to know. It's actually got little blurbs in the, uh, manual about the various enemies we can come across. No. Yeah. Yeah, damn it. Well, there we go. That was a hit. We just need to find a house to rest in. Uh, what's this? Entering a home uninvited is... Oh, it's just... We've read this before. He's saying that, you know, people don't tend to get her too upset because he's an elf and he's all pretty, so... Can we just rest in here? Slow poison, I've noted. It Apparently it just stops the poison from hurting you, but uh, once it wears off, the uh, poison will either continue hurting you because it doesn't get rid of it, or it will 
hurt you as much as it would have. Okay. They did seem to mind that we were resting in his house. Uh, let's save here, I think. Exploring two. There we go. Actually, can we just check your house and see whether there's anything on the floor which we could possibly take? Also welcome. Nope. You have a painting of a house on the wall. That's not too strange, really. It was seen some places are not meant to be entered. Yep, sure. Go here. Can I find that paladin again? Uh, over here? Oh. What's attacking me? Oh. Bandits! And they poisoned me! Damn it. Sigh. Oh, cat on the table. <laughs> I wonder if that's two separate entities, or did they stick, like, the cat on top of the, uh... ...table... ...sprite. Something's in here. A broadsword. And you are taking damage. Well, I mean, if Ray's dead, just raises them from the dead. Perhaps I'll check that. Chain coif. You can have that. Chainmail. Uh, let's see. Oh, right, yeah. I, I changed the order, isn't it? Denvi, uh, Elf is over here. Tatian's over there. I'd actually want to give you... that. So that you get an extra attack. Uh, Tatian is a... Fighter, so you can have the chainmail. Go. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Oh, we're back in this house. These houses all look the same. That's the inn over there. This house is boarded up. That's where the warehouses were. Oh. Get out of here. There we go. That is so much easier than going down and pressing these buttons. Oh, jeez. Because it's just suddenly, what, like, eight attacks? Shoot out to hit them. I don't think you can attack with both weapons. I could give you a shield. You can make use of that. I think you. I'll give you a shield as well. Or I'll give you two long swords. Oh, you can't deal wield long swords. <laughs> uh, these are throwing daggers. Deal will quad stars. There we go. Uh, the peasants need not have hidden at my approach. I'm not here to raid the place. What on earth am I supposed to do with so much quiet? Maybe we've come on a holiday, with the folk gathered in one great hall. Yes, that's it. We'll soon hear them singing from the other side of town, dancing to such a beat that I'll be tempted to frolic with them. But no, I don't hear a single breath, not a one. Hello! Welcome, welcome. What classes do I have? Well... Uh, our two characters I made, we have Feek here, who is a lawful good cleric gnome. And we have Denvi here, who is a uh, lawful neutral elf mage. And then we have these two NPCs which have joined us. We have Tatian, 
who is a level four fighter, neutral good, half elf female. Uh, her strength isn't very good, but it's another body. And we have Velika, who is a fighter mage thief, level four four five, chaotic good, half elf. Who is eh dexterous, constitution sixteen. It's not as good as Tatian. So you know. I thought a cleric and a mage would be useful because it gives us a lot more utility with spells rather than having a fighter. Oh. And I don't tend to like multi-class characters because they level up slower. But, you know, I know they're useful. <laughs> here we go. Get out of here. You personally went with a fighter, cleric, mage, and paladin. Also, you can edit your stats to maxing character creation. I really recommend it. Yeah, I knew that. I don't... I didn't really want to do that. Um, I sort of just focused on the stats which they need. Like, wisdom. For Fika as high as it could be. Because gnomes have a minus one to wisdom. And uh, constitution 16. Which I thought, yeah, it's high enough. I don't really like maxing out the stats. It's fine, but... Anyway... Because otherwise it's like all the characters play the same. Oh, get out of here. Also, we're currently waiting on Tatian to die so that I can try and resurrect her. I have a scroll of resurrection. Oh, a scroll of raised dead, which apparently is like a weaker resurrection, so. We'll see whether that's true. Oop. Potion of extra healing swap these back. UI could have been made a little bit better. Also welcome. Hero, hero. A mage scroll of fireball. Oh boy. Uh, fireball spell scribed. Nice. You just click on the scroll and then click on your uh, book to scribe it. That is very nice. Is there a chance to fail? Chill touch ice knife. What was this spell? Improved identify. Okay. Stick that in there. There's a race dead. Negative plane protection. Keep your robe on, man. Uh. Anything else around here? Oh, hey. Extra healing potion. Ow. I can't pick that up. Okay, that's just like a carpet or something. Uh, Raised Dead is first resurrection spell in the second edition. It works at everything, everyone except elves and the like. No chance for what you remember to fail, that is. Okay. Slow poison is used for it. Yeah, slow poison, from what I read, doesn't get rid of poison. It just, uh... Sort of pauses it for a moment. Keog Tom's ointment can heal poison. Oh, okay. This thing. I mean, I've only got one, but let's see that. Well, too late. She's dead. Um, let's just resurrect her. And... Yeah, she's back. Any... Uh, penalties to stats? I think her constitution went down by one. If this is what her stats were originally were on the on the right. Okay. I mean, you know. It would be nice if it mentioned that in the manual. Uh But um hmm cuz I also I'm always under the uh, under the impression that Ray's dead is like literal Ray's dead. They come back as a zombie. And I'm pretty sure in some CRPG games it actually does that. You don't really want to raise dead because they're useless afterwards. Which gets into my thinking of that do, does that. It's not Eye of the Beholder, is it? Is it another one? Hmm. Restoration to restore that one. Yeah, right. I mean, she's not a consistent member of our party. She hasn't lost that much health. She's got 28. That's still pretty fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I 
Why does it keep doing that? There. I'm not going to get too caught up on, like, stats and all that. Though I'm not going to just be raising dead all the time. But that was just, you know, see what it was like. Yeah, and, and this you could, like, hop out of your spell book and hop back in to instantly cast a spell again. <laughs> Usually it's greyed out. Do I want a slight spoiler about her? Hmm. I vaguely remember parts of the story, but I prefer not. I did read that characters, if they leave your parties, will drop all of their items. So we're not going to be too worried. And problem. Too big of a problem about that. Come on. Die, die, die. There we go. You're not attacking anymore. Does that change depending on where the characters are positioned during a battle? Maybe if they're more around over here. Hang on. Aha! What's this? Ooh. Oh! Hang on. Oh, okay. The HUD's all changed green. Hold on. I think this is where we need to go if the, uh... Where we meet the old paladin. Let me just... Write this on the auto map. Uh... Two caverns. Go. Not something you might even encounter. It depends on whether she's in your party at a specific point. I suppose we'll try and keep her in our party. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. Um, broadly, as I said, I've watched a playthrough of this, but it was years ago, like over six years ago, so. Barovia died long ago, that much is certain. If the few simple fools who remain think of themselves as inhabiti inhabiting a living village, then much the worse for them. They have my pity, perhaps my prayers. They shall have good use for both in the long nights ahead. Okay. What are these houses having multiple doors out? Is that supposed to be like a carpet? Yeah, it's a rug on the floor. Neat. Three doors out. Is there... Hmm. Okay. Let's go... Yeah. Entering a home uninvited... Yes, yes. Oop. Hello. A battle axe. I'm taking your axe, sir. Hope you don't mind. Actually, Tatian, uh, what have you got? You've got a broadsword. Two to eight, two to seven. One to eight, one to eight. Uh. Just, uh, swap our items around a bit. Okay, keep going east. Need to be careful. One of these houses had a whole bunch of this type of enemy. What's this? There is much to be said for appearing friendly to the natives and possibly winning allies among them. Since we've stepped within this home unannounced, a cautious and friendly approach is best. Well, it's not like we can knock on the doors, so, you know. Sir, I am checking your closet. You have two barrels. Well done. I am leaving now. Okay, next house. Ravenloft games, especially this first one, are really unforgiving and make it mistakes made in party creation. 
Pick up one you can use your previous party. This game is pretty impossible without the cleric. Yeah, that's why I made a cleric. Sort of because, you know, the healing is the main reason. Also, be careful when entering homes willy nilly. There is a house that if you enter, you can softlock your game. Yes! Uh, I looked that up and I remember that from. I mentioned that in the first part. Um, I don't actually know which house it is. I'm assuming there's going to be a sign out in front of it or something. Perhaps not. Um, but there is a. We'll just save, just in case. Um, there is a house called the Jeweler's House or something like that, where. Uh, uh, and I'm not too worried about saying this because it is a kind of a problem in the game unless it's been patched but I don't think it has um, there's a house called like the jeweler's house which if you enter uh, one of your party members will get possessed by a ghost in there and you'll be tasked with going to the cemetery and doing a task for the ghost but uh at an early at such an early point in the game you can't actually complete this quest because you can't get to the cemetery so you, you you can't do anything um just rest 25 hours later so it's something to keep in mind if i find it i will be sure to write down the house so i know which one it is I just enter, have that happen, and then just reload or something. It's in the north part. There's no sign. Okay. I haven't seen any signs for houses so far. I just have to write it down. Hey, cat. Are you the paladin, sir? I think you are. Okay, we talked to this guy last time, but we were poisoned, so. What is it, old one? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we won't stay around for his dialogue because we heard it last time. Uh, are you ill? Oh, can we make it better? I want my talisman, which I threw aside and thus lost my faith in my god. Uh, you do look like a man who needs pity. What is it that I might do to help with my hand and tie? Find the holy symbol. I've heard nothing of chambers dug beneath the village. How will I ever find them? Okay, have my eye patch. Okay. Darr, have me lucky eye patch. <laughs> okay. Let's leave him and his cat. It was not obvious. Left two members of front and right two members of the party back row. You give long reach weapons for rightmost characters. Yeah, that was something. That was another thing which I read up at, of <laughs> at the beginning. Oh, wait, you've lost a weapon. Um, in that, unlike, you, you'd sort of expect this character and this character to be front row and this one and this one to be back row, but in this game, these two are the front row, these two are the back row. So usually they'd be like a raid over here. So it'd be like first, second, third, fourth or something, but. Um, I suppose I could give you a spear or something. We do have a spear. Make use of that. And yeah, you can have a quarter staff. Sure. Like this. There. Okay. If we could get some more containers. Ooh, ooh, hang on. Um, I think it was that house, was it? I want to write down the house which has the, uh, Paladin in it. Yep. Okay. So hop out. There we go. Right. No. Go up here. Nothing there. Here we go. What's that? It's just a table. 
you usually choose one of the houses to dump all the gear in that you don't use yeah we'll probably do that just choose a house near the entrance or something like that label it oh hello there's stuff here and wallpaper this is a kind of a fancier house cleric scroll of neutralized poison hey that's pretty nice potion of extra healing potion of extra healing I don't think I can open up these crates or anything like that oh hello sir uh, don't mind me we're adventurers you don't have any secrets behind your bookshelves do you like a book I can press which will open up a hidden passage no sir ma'am I just live here he won't talk nor does it look like he cares to move from that chair of his the best ca that can be done is to let him sit and stare away whatever years are left to him ah yeah, well I'm poisoned but good thing I have this scroll oh um yeah good luck with that oh hey footman's pick I think the um paladin mentioned something about that that you need one of those to be able to get through the caverns so uh nice that we found that you'll write that on the yeah just uh found pick here oh. it's right behind his house he really can't be bothered to get up you've played this quite a lot in your childhood only twice finishing this game really enjoyed this is so profit i do like the look of these games i haven't played either of them though i have watched playthroughs of both uh Strud's possession and stone profit as i said quite a while ago Ooh. Uh, no well that's not good ah let's just see if we can deal with these nope they're slaughtering us okay load i don't think i saved did i <clears throat> Wop wop. That was just after talking to him. That's fine. Oh, things are nasty. I was going to read what they are from the manual. Because I haven't heard of those creatures before, but I suppose they're a monster created specifically for the Ravenloft setting. Let's see. Pick was here. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me just see what the manual has to say about the broken ones, because it has got little blurbs about the different enemies in it. And it lists Count von Zorovich as an enemy, or as a sprite for him. Broken Ones. Broken Ones are the tragic survivors of scientific and magical experiments gone awry. While they were once human, these their beings have been mingled with those of animals, and their natures forever altered by the shock of the event. Though somewhat rare, Broken Ones are formidable opponent, opponents, and proved to be vicious once drawn into melee combat. The weakest broken one will have 15 hit points, wielding weapons in combat or attacking with claw and fang. Broken ones are capable of inflicting 1 to 6 points of damage. They are known to inhabit dense woods and rocky wastes, often surviving by carrying out raids on villagers. Okay. Uh, just maximize this again. There we go. There isn't really any point in this game that you can say you're too OP even if you have maxed out character stats. I rather like that. Like, uh, because some of these games, just, I mean, it's nice being able to sort of brush enemies aside, but it's kind of like that in Pool of Radiance. Um, you never really got to a point where I don't like the last boss and all that would have been a cakewalk. Goblins and kobolds were easy, but that was just to get fireball. Fireball is the answer to many problems. Hello? Oh, this is your house. 
Okay, let's go get your uh, neutralized scroll. I think the last boss in Pool of Radiance was uh, more of a puzzle than anything else. Or maybe it was just he had to deal a lot of damage and survive. Then it won. I don't think he had to kill the boss. Okay. Uh, let me save again. Save before going into every house. Oh, hey. Arrows. Uh, I'll put them into the quiver. Actually, I don't think the quiver's got any space in it. No, it doesn't. I think some of these arrows, these arrows up here, I think are arrows of uh, undead slaying. They do look a little different. If we cast an eye improved identified, they would light up. Though, for what I said last time, uh, ranged in this game is actually rather useless because the arrows just deal no damage. <laughs> Except for the arrows of um, undead slaying. They will slay undead. You can also lock yourself up in Strud's castle when you first go there without option to retreat by accidentally entering Strud's personal crypt. Huh. There was all the doom guards around protecting, stopping me from going places. I didn't really try and uh, move around too much in there. We just went straight and talked to Strud. Remember who told you this? That the whole ruined land is a trap. Look, the shutters are closed as if they haven't been opened in years. Don't these people breathe? Villages like this, timber and plaster buildings two stories high. There's one that's three, could ha hold half a thousand souls. Are they afraid to come out from behind those whitewashed walls? I do like our chatty characters. Though I think a lot of the dialogue is rather generic. Regardless of your characters, they'll pretty much say the same thing. I don't know whether it's different based on their race or something. Might be some lines which are different, but... I think for the most part it's all the same. My hands have gone cold and my heart with them. I'm afraid the chill of this place will make for a cold worker once we are inside. Ah. Okay. Okay. Boo! This is the uh, jeweler's place. So we'll load. And we won't listen to that. So... Jeweler's house. Do not enter until cemetery is open. There we go. Do not open until until Christmas. There we go. I mean, when you first when you first time actually go exploring it, not just for dinner. Oh, okay. The slight differences in dialogue options, but nothing major. Well, it's nice that there's a little bit of difference there. Um, I wonder whether there's any different dialogue based on race, whether it's all on, like, class. Hello? Our elf is very... Verbose, I suppose is appropriate. <laughs> Nothing in here. You, sir, have quite a nice house. Except for the cobwebs and all that. Ooh, what's this? The more ointment. Georg Tom's ointment. I can't stack them on top of each other. Damn it. Uh, and a cloak. Is this a magic cloak? N Apparently the one you're wearing is magical. Okay, go over here. Yes, 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 we've heard that one. I have seen places hit by the plague that are more jovial than here. Ooh. 
Oil of fiery burning. Up these friggin' arrows. Drop them! He should be useful if we come across trolls or something. Ooh. There's another one. This house is just stuffed full of them. Uh. Wait. Why is your AC not changing? Is this that good? Oh, wait, hang on. Is that because you're wearing these? Braces of protection. Yes, it is. I can give you minus one. Huh. I think I'll give those to you so that you have five. Put that down there. And I don't think there's a store where we can sell things. We haven't gotten any money. Someone was asking for a potion for some money, but we don't have any, so. Um. Okay. Let's go south and we'll uh, claim a house for our own and stuff our excess items in there. This one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, this seems fine enough. Class is more important, if you remember correctly, and NPC companions more than race, really. Might want to cast Detect Magic, it will light up all magic items. Yeah, that would be useful. I might do that after I've rested. You can also put Quiver on my back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's... Let's be smart and do that. Just free up a little bit of extra space. Can I put that on your belt? No, you have to carry the bag. Okay. Right. Um, oh, I was going to have you holding the spear, wasn't I? So that you can attack in back rank. Right. Um... Let me see. In second edition, braces basically replace armor, whereas the magic cloak is counted as similar like rings with its AC bonus. Right, yes, they're, um, like, wouldn't they be like... It says braces of protection. They'd be like braces of AC 5 or something, I guess. Which means that they lower the AC to 5, but they don't stack with other items to lower AC further, if that makes sense. Uh, if your AC is above 5, they will lower it to 5, but they won't help lower it further. Unlike a Ring of Protection, where if it's a Ring of Protection plus 1 or plus 2, if you have an armor class of 5, it will lower it to armor class 3. <laughs> oh, the joys of these games. <laughs> We've gone over this in our Pool of Radiance. <laughs> oh boy. It's not really that complicated. It's just... Or maybe I'm just used to it. Braces of protection do stack with rings, but not with armor. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I, I see. Okay, so they count as like armor for the purposes of... Uh... Okay, okay, okay. I'm understanding that. <laughs> um, let's see. Do I want blur? Denvi. Uh, let's get improved identify on you. And Valkia. You've got two Agonazes Scorchers. That's useful. Magic Missiles. That's useful. Done. And we'll rest for eight hours. And we'll cast and improve identify. Though that only identifies items in your inventory, doesn't it? Put these parchments somewhere. Let's drop these throwing daggers on the ground. Drop 
the shield as well, I guess. Actually, can you use a spear and a shield? It seems so. Mage, you can wield a shield too. Keep the bow. Battle axe. Drop the cloak. I don't think that's going to be magical. It could be different AC value braces of protection. I know of like braces of protection AC 5 and AC 6 or something. Cleric should have detect magic. Improved identify identifies only items in your inventory, not items in other mem members' inventories. So let's uh stuff his inventory full of uh things which might be magical. Though I don't know whether it's actually going to like tell us exactly what they are. I think it'll just say whether they're magical or not. I think like this might be magical. Just put all our weapons in there. Maybe our rocks are going to be magical. Okay. Woo. What have we got? Uh, apparently nothing's magical. Okay, because it would be blue, wouldn't it? Oh no, oh no, I see. It's uh, added a plus two off the top there. Okay, cool. So these two are just maces. Fine. That's a long sword plus one. There's a broadsword plus one. Can you do wield those? No, you can't because a broadsword is like a two-handed weapon. Spear's just a spear. Dagger's just a dagger. The Bull Verzi dagger is a plus two. Give that to you. The Battle Axe is just a Battle Axe. Down. Long sword's just a long sword. Oh yeah! Could we throw it hilt first? Detect magic will say if they're magical or not. Improved identify will give their stats. They are blue only with Detect Magic on. Okay. This one is a lot more advanced than, uh, say, Pool of Radiance, so I'm getting used to, like, the advances <laughs> since the older one. Because in Pool of Radiance... Hang on. Did it say what items were? I can't remember. I think it did. Oh, whatever. Anyway, uh, long sword, dagger. I suppose we can keep the daggers for throwing. Potion of speed. Beh. Uh, you can carry them. Rolls. We need to distribute some of these things out a bit more. What's weighing you down? Oh, your armor. Oh, it's not that high. 58 out of 140. Give you your... I think one of these has... Yep. Yeah. This has cleric spells in it. This has primarily mage spells in it put these in there there we go uh I'm gonna hold on to the stones in case we come across like <laughs> um it just says braces of protection does it not identify items he's wearing okay we'll uh rest again and we'll like identify people's clothes I get this done now. Okay, chainmail, chainmail. Chain coif. Braces of protection. Yeah, okay. Doesn't say anything more. Cloak plus two. Yeah, nifty. 
mean, you can have that. Was it better the other way around? No. We'll do that. Okay. So I want to check the items which I dropped on the floor in case. The white robe. We started off with it. Doesn't look like that's magical. Doesn't look like that's magical. Oh yeah! In this game, braces are only just protection, no differences between them. It would seem that in general in second edition that they could be different bonuses. Okay. Because I, yeah, I'm thinking of like Bald Escape where there's braces of protection, but they have different levels. So in this, it's just braces of protection. That's it. Okay. Okay. I do like trying to figure out all the quirk, individual quirks of these games. It takes time to like figure it out, but it sort of means each game has its own like little variations on things. I don't know. I find it interesting while it still adheres to the overall uh sort of rules and all that though it does mean things like magic missile as we found is a non-homing missile hello i'm guessing you're not going to talk to me who are you what are you doing in my house hi okay um so let's see what have we got to do we don't have a journal, I'm gonna have to... Just remember all this. Yeah, these list all the different places. I could just write them in the margins. Um... So... Around here somewhere... We did have a quest to... Oh, I can't write on maps I'm not actually present on. Okay. Um... Let me write it down then, old fashioned way. Casting to detect magic will make it easier to decide which items I need to identify. That is true. Probably memorize it. Uh, detect magic or so. Oh, we can do that when we find loot. Uh, let's see, there was another quest to find the bandit camp. If I can spell bandit correctly. That was in the old Svarich Road, and it was next to a stone with an arrow on it or something like that. We didn't do that because I thought, I figured as soon as we go in there, we'd get swamped by bandits. So hold off on that for a bit. Gonna mark my storage house. <laughs> uh, no. I think it was this one. <laughs> uh, let's go back. I did choose, like, the oddly shaped house with three doors, so... There we go. So I know which one it is. Sash house. There we go. Thank you for reminding me about that. Okay, find bandit camp. Uh, we had the old paladin quest, the bandit camp quest. We've got the quest for the... Istani potion in the uh, guy in the inn. Um, he was asking for 15 gold for his potion. Um, or he could take us apparently to their camp. Um, which we might want to do at some point. To get our fortune told or something like that. Um... Also to go to camp. I'm just going to need to get some reams of printer paper or something. <laughs> oh boy. Um, was there another one to do? There's the one which Strad gave us, which was... Uh, Strad told us to use stone key on door to caverns somewhere. It was like to the west or east or something like that. I 
But I'm guessing that might not be something we want to do quite yet. This, mu this music track brings so many fond memories of intense spooks he got. I did read that the uh, music being improved in this was one of the points the uh, reviewers at the time uh, praised the game for. Uh, what's this? And by the look of it, there won't be any welcoming committee for us. That I'll guarantee. I sense something. Many of the homes are protected. Oh, not very well. Not professionally. But the peasants are hiding behind collections of blessings, amulets and tokens. I wonder what it has them so cowed like this. What has so cowed them like this? Yeah, I wonder. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the lord of this land and his apparent obsession with sticking people on spikes everywhere. If Barovia is a stinking, unwelcome place, this is the rancid heart of it. Jeez, thanks. It's just like shouting as we go through town. Uh, oh, filthy peasants. I hate this place. Here's an elf. Okay. We'll save. Uh, exploring... Got some different music here too. Apparently it needs a key. What? Oh, I don't think you could use both of those. Uh, if that's the case, I think I'll give you a shield then. Is this for this? I don't think so. I can't seem to make this key work. It must be for a door other than this. Yes. Jam it in there! Can we use a pick? Oh, hang on. D duh. Use the eye patch? <laughs> okay, that's what it does. It just highlights the house. Which has the, uh, secret room in it, which we found, so. Going to the camp is a cutscene. Okay. Perhaps we'll do that. Uh, we have got a lockpick. By the crafty hands of Atalak, master thief of the realm and my mentor, this lock cannot be picked. I've tried all I know. Okay. We need to find a key for this place then. Hmm. Well, the paladin didn't give us a key. I'm not seeing one on the floor here. Just back out of the house. Yep. So the eye patch just showed us that house. Yep. <laughs> it's just staring at that all day. Where is this house here? It's a save. No, that's load. Save. I guess we're not going to be exploring the caverns. Come on. Get. Bed roll. Here. Oh, hello. You're just standing in the corner. Is this a Blair Witch? Oh, you're someone who will talk to us. Pleasant day to you, madam. At your age, you must know a great deal about what goes on in Barovia. It's a fine doll you have. Does she have a name? Yeah. <laughs> They can't chase the fog, but their light eats trees when they spit it on the ground. She's heard the voice too, heard it cough up the future like thunder when the Bright Hand tore open the one good straight oak and delivered up the heart. But only if they plant the light. 
Okay. You're mad, woman, and we should leave you to madness. The old hag chills my blood. Be better to speak with a young, sane maiden. Good day, madam. Eh? Goodbye. <laughs> uh. Eh. Uh, either one's really that nice. Considering how much stress it seems these people are after are under. You're mad, woman. Ah, huh, okay, so you're saying that we need to find the, uh, amulet of Helm, which we lost, to be able to get back home. Uh, apparently someone took it from us, but they're dying now. And something else about it. Apparently there's no key for them. Hmm, we're going to get in there, then. Fly! Fly away and die away! Gray oh, for a maiden, but they bathe in dust. Only magic gains their trust. Little one knows how stiff the young ones wait. She wails beneath the graveyard moon. Ah, huh. okay, fine. Dying with reference to my lord. Was it? Was he dying? I don't really know whether it showed him as such. It was just sort of lying on the ground. I assumed he was like pushed over and taken from it. Yeah. Oh, okay. We can just go through dialogue again. Pleasant day to you, madam. At your age, you must know a great deal about what goes on in Barovia. Oh dear, yes, yes. She tells me everything. The little one. Don't you, my sweet daughter, my dearling, tells me everything. She can fly, you know. Visible as a wisp hides in the fog. Little one plays in the twisted trees where her father waits. Yes, he does. She says it's close when you hear the thunder. Where the big tree wears rings on its feet. Sings about the sunny sea. Okay. And that's about it. Huh. Well, we'll uh, leave you to your doll. Uh, I might actually write that down. Let's see. Crazy doll lady. No. Or bleed, rather bleeding. He was injured in an attack. Oh, okay. Gave you hints about plot points. Yeah, I gathered as much. <laughs> in games like this, you know, someone who's crazy and talking about brand, uh, talking about weird things like that tends to be giving you a lot of information about the plot. <laughs> Uh, hello. Hope she talks more to her husband and children than she will to us. Then again, twice nothing is still nothing. There must be others in this town more willing to part with the few simple breaths it will take to speak with us. We'll find them. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, hey. There's some st oh sling bullets on the ground. And a sling. Well, isn't that fantastic? I don't need that. Um, I think we're about gone everywhere. I haven't gone all the way around your house. What's that circle up there? Go up this way. And we'll exit the town up here as well. Okay, it's a circle of stones. Hmm. Will that be important? Maybe. What's over here? Skeletal bats. 
Get out of here. Oh, it's so much easier now that I know that you can just click on them. Oh. It is. It's a luxury rather than having to go down and clicking on the sword icons all the time. Oh, man. Hang on. This isn't where we started, is it? No, it isn't. Okay. Wooded area west of Barovia. Yeah, it's different. Get out of here. Wait, your spear's gone. Your spear's gone. Oh, wait. Did I drop the spear? Wait, did you throw the spear? Spears aren't melee weapons in this? I did say that a spear counts as like a ranged weapon. I just thought it meant if you like pick it up and chuck it. Like, you know, like this. But do you just hurl it when it's in your hands regardless? Huh. Okay. Well, that went somewhere. I can't remember where it went. <laughs> where it went, I wasn't paying attention. Spear is the throwing weapon in this game. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Why? Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Uh, a mage? You have potions to sell. How are you today, sir? There aren't many with the courage to live alone out here. Not that I've seen. And what do you see? What can you see beyond light, beyond dust, moat stirred in some corner near a window, or some brief flash in the sky which frightens you to the bone? Well, I see the echo of your thoughts and hear the scent of your fear. Ah. You think me mad, but magic does that, doesn't it? I am mad with magic. Okay. Uh, my strange speaking friend, if you are a mage, what are you doing in this meager hut near the Ivalis? Perhaps you would think more clearly if you walked the trail a while. Would you take the air at my side? Oh, this is another party member we can have join us. Perhaps you should stay here and keep your weird ramblings to yourself. What are you doing in this meager hut near the Ivalis? Where should I be? Sitting beside some burgomaster's fireplace in an overstuffed chair as though I were his property or his prize? Or squandering my powers to maintain a household of my own? No. I sit here, happy in the rich cathedral of my mind. I observe the rule of excellence. I'm ready for anything. I am waiting for you. That reminds me that there was another person in the burgomaster's house. Uh, apparently there was an elf there which we mentioned, but I didn't actually talk to her or talk to them. So, uh, I think we'll just leave you for the moment. You're not selling anything, and my party is full. Do you have anything in your house, sir? You have a cat on a table. Nothing else? Nope. Okay. Uh, yellow dots on the map are items. Okay. Yeah, I think those two over there, they're stones. So we could see the uh, spear that way. Is that it? I mean, if you're just going to keep chucking it, then I'm not too interested in using it as a weapon. Yeah, there it is. Spear! Uh, I think I'll just keep you with a long sword. All skeletal bats! Get out of here. Ah! Hardy is just like flailing their weapons around as fast as possible. There's something over there. I should probably save. Don't want to stumble across a whole bunch of goblins. It's actually something in this game. They keep spelling goblins with a Y. Is it because they're different types of goblins? It does say that they're like... Under control of something. <laughs> Here we go. So much easier.
I need staves or two-handed swords to be able to attack from the back row. Perhaps a broadsword then would work. The broadsword, I think it counts. And weapon. Kind of. Not really. I don't know, is the weapons which you use two hands on if you have them free, but if you have one hand, if you have like a shield, you use it one handed. Broadsword is two handed, okay. I mean, yeah. And I dropped my quarter stuff. Oh well, doesn't really matter. We'll survive. Oh, and a stone there. Oh, hey, is that. Go. Do you want to tell, help me with these bats? No? Okay. Oh, this might be the caverns which uh, Strad told us about. Hello. Uh, surely the day is not as glum as the expression in your eyes would have it. Uh, to camp alone in this dread territory is foolish. For your own safety, would you join us as we tap two of the caverns beneath the Evilus? I, I think I'll hold off on that. There are other things I kind of would like to do. Maybe we should do that soon. But, uh... I sort of would like to clear out things before going there. Ah! Go. There's a cavern. Hang on. Oh, clicked on the wrong one. Oh well. There we go. Let's go in here and have a look. Ooh. I do like that they've got like floor and wall, floor and roof textures. Hmm. I wonder what, I wonder what the engine this is running on is. I think the game Menzo Baranzan is similar to this. Um, and this game came out in 94, was it? Light spell's also useful. Yeah, let's see. Did I memorize the light spell? No. Okay. Well, not that dark. Spooky music. It's a little weird how the, uh, just gets really pixelated <laughs> further away. That's another game I need to play at some time, Menzo Baranzan. I did play a little bit of it years and years ago, but I got barely any pay into it. Menzo Baranzan is running on the same engine, if you remember correctly. It's neat because it's like, it's got a texture for the roof and the floor, but I suppose if it came out a few years after Doom, it's not, or a year or so after Doom, it's not that impressive, but... <laughs> Just as a cave full of rocks? Oh, hey! Uh, you like a ghoul or something? Hello, sir. Get away. By all the gods, leave this place. Oh no, you're like a wolfman. In our travels, we have learned of lycanthropy. The cure is dangerous, but we are willing to attempt it. Have we? 
You must destroy the heart of the infection, the progenitor. Three spells must then be cast upon you. May we find you here? I, I, I don't know anything about this. If you would have us leave, we are... You are... If you would have us leave, you are not evil. Yet you may not be alone. Do others dangers lurk here unseen? You're in pain. Is there anything we can do to help? <laughs> Is there anyone else here? Okay. I feel like these two dialogues here are getting given to us before I've uh, found out something else. So I think we'll just leave you alone. Bye. NPC. Wolfman. There we go. Is there something in the corner? <laughs> Gee. Up there. Don't want to hang around unless he ends up. Going all wolf on. Because if we can help him, I prefer to. Rather than just kill him. Okay. Uh, and I'll write out here. Let's see. Werewolf cave. Who's surprised that there's werewolves in this game? I think there's actually a whole variety of were creatures in this. There's that fog wall. Blur. I always remember in uh, Neverwinter Nights, I think the first one, uh, you go to, oh geez, the uh, other city, um, not Neverwinter, I think it starts with an eye or something, it's like, you know, the city of thieves and all that, um, and I think one of the gangs is just a whole bunch of where rats but you cut through them pretty easily where orangutans he did kind of look like an orangutan or a monkey or something like that ape i thought it was like a, a I, I, I thought it was like a ghoul because he had white colored eyes maybe like a troglodyte or something I don't know. Is there troglodytes in Dungeons and Dragons? This thing might be like a gibbling. Dun, 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 dun. Is this a castle up here? There is? Huh. Okay. Dramatic music. This place looks a lot less impressive than it was when we went there in the cutscene. If this is a castle. Old church grounds. Oh, okay. Hey, what's in here? What's that flying thing? Bat? Not so hasty in passing. This curious herald upon the wall deserves examining. All information is of use in this strange land. To say cherish and obey the land but to defy it not okay uh, I'm guessing we need to get a key and come back here yeah it kind of looks like it doesn't look like we could do anything here yet nice music Oh, here's something else. Oh, is this a graveyard? Yeah, that might be the graveyard or something. 
I go in there. Okay. I know we're slow to be like doing any of the quests and plot of the game, but this is the first time I'm playing this, so I like to spend my time, take my time and explore around and know exactly what I'm dealing with everywhere. Huh. Okay. Nothing around there. It's funny, there's just like trees forming a path there. And then just nothing. I wonder if there was like a limitation of how many uh, how many of these sprites they could have in the level in an area. Chocolate said some kind of stench power in D and D. At least they did an AD and D second edition. That's when you stop playing. I don't think I've seen a game with chocolateites in them. Oh, hey! Ow! Oh. Uh oh. Um. Okay. I'll hold you. Damn it! Friggin' bandits! Fa! Yeah, we'll just reload this. Uh Okay, when we went out there, there wasn't anything. How are these kids roaming the streets not dying to the bandits? I have no idea. Uh, let me check this place. Oh, this is that house. Okay. That's fine. Well, um... Let's go to the inn and we'll, uh, get taken to the Vistani camp. That's something which we should do. Okay, it's like southwest. Let's get there before the sun sets so we're not just mugged by all the bandits. They're paid the protection. Yeah, this has got a little sign on the wall. Blood of the Vine. I'm sure this place was named by Strud von Zorovich. If you live in my realm, you must name all of your towns and all of your uh, shops in very... You know... Foreboding matters. Have to play to the theme. Hello. Yep. Uh, would you be persuaded to take us to your camp? Uh. Kids got nothing for bandits to rob, I suppose. Kids are immune to harm unless you acknowledge it. <laughs> uh, at least they're not invisible. <laughs> Uh I don't really want that. Yeah, blindfold us. To put that much faith in me, I shan't let you come to harm me. Though I can't answer for my elders. You're most likely to have you thrown from camp. You must know as well that it will take some time to reach my people. Not until next evening will you hear on gypsy fiddles and tambourines. Your lamentation. Okay. After the hours of hard travel, the dark uncertainty of the blindfold has taken away. Ah, it's a little three D, little three D setting. Safe escort has been provided to the Vistani camp, and as promised.
Are we going to make more character classes? That's actually a different person. The cards, she explains, are reluctant to reveal the fate of outsiders. An accurate reading may be impossible. Okay. I hope you're willing to give a freebie. I mean, we have no money. We can give you weapons. Hesitantly, Madam Eva admits to a missing card. To the one face of the Taroka which has been stolen by another of Ravenloft's George. Okay, who'd want to steal a card? Madam Eva suspects Lord Strahd himself of acquiring the card. Perhaps to avoid the Tower Block Mutual as a gas Oh, okay. I'll write that down. As the meeting comes to a close, farewells are given. Madam Eva assures that the safe escort will again be provided to one of the secret compartments of the sky. Well, thank you. Okay. Well, there we go. Save. Okay, so we've got potentially another quest to do. Find tarot card. Or whatever they called it. Though that might be held by Strahd. So... Either in his hands or someone who will be working for him. Burgermeister? I do want to go back to his house uh, because there was apparently someone else in there which I could talk to. Let's see, where was he? Here. Down there, okay. You have to go down the hall, turn left, run all the way down. Uh, too far. Beep, beep. There we go. And uh, there's the Burgermeister, and there you are. Hello. You're going to be another party member, I think. I've never seen an elf closed up with books and soft chairs before. Soothing her sorrows with Tweaker. Seems a pity, doesn't it? Are you speaking to me? Books are the forest and mage journeys through, my friend. Sometimes counting herself lucky to find a treasure hidden in those green fields. Oh, but please, <laughs> allow me to embarrass our host. You see, I've grown bored with his attempts to win my trust with his land's secrets and his false friendship. Might an elven mage from Sithicus sign on with you? I don't actually know where Sithicus is. If your spells prove as sharp as your tongue, you may be of some use. Would you be willing to join our party? Though your tongue is sharp, perhaps you're too great a thirst for brandy wine to be of immediate service. Will you be staying on here? I mean, we don't really want to have you join immediately. My party is full. And we've already got two mages. So. Oh well, okay, good. It's good to know that uh, you'll be around here if we need you. Okay, that's fair enough. Is there anything in here? Hang on. Yeah. Hello? There's scrolls on the floor. Burning hands. Describe that. Cat Strad's writ. Uh, sure, I'll read this. By the author of our, by the authority of our Lord Strad von Zorovich, the following rumors are to be stamped out of the minds of the Burgermeister's boyars and Burgermeister's boyars and peasants of the villages of Ravenloft. Isn't that a mixture of like cultural terms? Burgermeister is like. Oh, Burgermaster is saying this is a German term. Boyars is a... Like a... 
Ukrainian term, isn't it? And peasants of the village of Ravenloft. Anyone repeating them is to be put to death immediately without trial and before making any public statement. I mean, we're sort of in a Eastern European setting here, so whatever. What do I know? They are, one, that our lord is involved in any way in the arts of necromancy. Two, that Strahd has made a pact with death to attain his heart's desire, or has therefore been transformed in any way. Three, that the Balvaraz Verzi dagger used to kill Strahd's brother was last known to be in Strahd's possession. You mean the game? Four, that the woman Tatyana plunged to her death while attempting to escape the embrace of Strahd von Zorovich. By the order of Count Strahd von Zorovich. Yeah. A bit on the nose there, the Count. Uh, let's keep that. I'm sorry, it's just... <laughs> specifically specific denials. Uh... Anyway. These things totally did happen, so shut up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's a cloak there. I might actually put that over there. A dagger. And a wand of paralyzation. Hey. Nifty. Uh... We haven't rested. So yeah, can I rest in here? Can I just rest wherever? Apparently I can. He just doesn't care that we're sleeping in his house. Okay, so what's in here? What, what are these? Uh, it's just a cloak. Uh, it's just a dagger. One of paralyzation. Well, we do have this. Oh, there's the dagger plus two. So apparently that was used by Strahd to kill his brother. Okay. Ooh. A book. Van Richten's Guide to Werebeasts. How uh, fortuitous. And a cleric scroll of Raid's Dead. Well, let's read this. A long and rigorous examination of the facts leads to but one conclusion, that curing the infected lycanthrope is a difficult enterprise. No shortcuts have been found, and it remains our learned opinion that none exist. First, the primary werebeast causing the infection must be located and destroyed. Often, painstaking research is required to locate this beast, known as the progenitor. Well, we know about them, apparently it's an albino uh, lycanthrope. Especially when a chain of lycanthropic infection is involved. Once you are certain the progenitor has been destroyed, the next stage of the cure may take place. To begin, the subject must assume his secondary form, whatever difficulties that may involve. Then three spells must be cast upon the beast in quick succession. Atonement, cure disease, and remove curse. Finally, once restored to human form, the infected creature must atone for his deeds with acts of constant good. Okay. Let's see, uh... Werewolf... Cure... One... Kill... Uh... I don't know... Lead werewolf... Two... Spells... One. Atonement. Two. You are. Z's. Three. Remove. Curse. Oh, it looks like I, 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 I wrote remove burst, but whatever. Okay. Well, we know how to cure that werewolf now. Assuming this book is accurate. At least we're not going to be collecting you like Wolf's Bane or something like that. Have to cram it down his throat or something. Making a potion out of it. Anything else in your house? Some things up here. 
Oh, hey. Oil's a fiery burning. Don't mind if I do. Yoink. I'm not really seeing anything else on the map. Let's just leave. I mean, other than the social implications, being a werewolf might be a, might be pretty rad. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> if you could put it to, like, I don't know, work for you, I suppose. I think the uncontrollable blood rage is kind of a downside for uh, socializing with people. Which is usually associ associated with being a werewolf. You can kind of function normally as a werewolf in Skyrim, but you do have to, like, kill and eat at people. So. Or you're heavily encouraged to do so. It's a good werewolf mod for Skyrim. I like one which sort of makes it kind of random when you transform. That way you can't prepare for it as much as you can. Being a mindless beast that hungers for human flesh is your jam, then. That's your right. We need more fantasy games which allow you to be werewolves or vampires. I think that's really the only thing that Skyrim's got over other games. Um. I don't. Do I want to check one of these houses down here? One of them had a lot of broken ones in it. And those are tough. Oop, what's this? Merchant's Pride Warehouse. Quality goods from places near <laughs> and far is crossed out. For sale or barter. Hours of operation closed. Or contact manager uh, blotted out. Okay. Well, let's check here then. I'm glad no one's been yelling at us for picking up everything we find in people's houses. People just don't care. Oh, the door's just right next to the sign. I'm guessing that's a broken one. Oh. Yeah, we've been in here. They're all... held up in here. Cast an aid on you. And I'll cast an aid on you. I wonder if broken ones count as whole um, people for the purpose of a whole person. Ah, uh, damn it. Well, that looks suspicious. It's actually sticking out from the wall. Huh. Nothing on the floor in here. This one, perhaps. Nope. Werewolf DLC for Oblivion was really good. Also Werewolf DLC for Oblivion? Or do you mean like a mod? There wasn't werewolves in Sky in Oblivion, was there? I don't think so. It was vampires. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. Ugh. Okay, I think I'll write just here. Uh, warehouse. <laughs> Not to be confused with a werewolf. The way <laughs> the warehouse is a, <laughs> a tragic case of someone who turns into a into a storage house every full moon. <laughs> The air lies heavy with the scent of unburied dead, though it is not so much a true scent as a ghostly scent of sorts. It comes on the breeze, turning down those deserted paths as though it were a message, or a warning to all who brave Barovia's streets. Leave or die, it says, yet I for one plan on doing neither. Well, we can't leave, and I'd rather not die. 
get out of here. Hold you. Was I having difficulty attacking you because someone else was inside me? Okay, and... Wham! There we go. Because those brown cloaked guys can poison us as we've seen far too many times. heal you and wish there were stronger healing spells <laughs> at early levels in D&D okay so we're back here I guess we'll go and try this bandit camp I think they said that, that the one bandit which yeah here oh yeah you can see there's like a little arrow on top of the uh on top of the rock oh no bandits There we go. Anyone else in here? Yep, there's some more bandits up there. I see you marching around. Wham! There! There was one over there. Good shot. Oof. Okay, okay. Good shots, good shots. I think we killed them all. Nice work, team. Oh, that was a lean-to. Okay. So, what have we got? A chain coif. Just wield that, drop the spear. There's a short sword, a broad sword, adamantite chainmail. Wow, okay. That's nice. I like how all the items have, like, all the armor has, like, a different look to it. It's actually not better than our chainmail. How does that work? It's AC bonus is five. I thought Adamantite was like. AC two or one or something like that. And not to mention the fact that it should like crumble to dust when hit by the sun. Pick up a shield. I think the bigger shield just protects us against missiles more. There's a battle axe. Um. Damn it. Drop these stones. One question I'm going to ask. Is there uh, pressure traps, uh, pressure plate puzzles in this game? Do I need to have stones to be able to drop on them? That was kind of a standard for uh, other games of this type. A chest. I think I can store items in there. A quiver. A sack. What's in the sack? The scrolls and a cloak in the sack. Scroll of fireball, scroll of flame arrow. 
already got those two spells. Neutralize poison and bless. Okay. What's in the chest? Throwing daggers, potions, and a sling pouch. Okay. Got this dagger. There's a composite bow, a long sword. Fine. Ugh. Get out of the trees. There we go. Uh. Okay, let's save. We'll rest. Get woken up by a skeletal bat. Rest again. Damn it. Come on. Can I rest? Is this going to happen every time? There's a stick in the corner here. How did the bandits sleep out here? It seems like bats are just going to spawn every time. Yeah, okay, fine. Forget that. Um, I guess... I'll take my items, go to town. It's just up here, but anyway. Identify the items. Drop the ones which are useless in our house. Just that one. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yep, right here. Okay, we can rest now. Thank you. Proof identify. What have we got? Okay, that's just a battle axe. This is just a cloak. This is a short sword plus one. That is a just a broadsword. Want a paralyzation? We knew that. Chain coif. You can wear that. And a man tight chainmail. AC. I suppose it, the bonus of it is that it's lighter. Yeah. It only weighs uh thirty as opposed to forty. So we can drop this chainmail on the floor. Shield AC bonus one. I mean, these are exactly the same. They just look different. Okay. And what was in the sack? There was a cloak. I'm going to have to rest again to have those identified. I suppose we could check whether the throwing knives are magical. Put our potions in here. I'm just going to end up holding on to these potions for the entire game, aren't I? But they could be useful, he said. <laughs> they might be useful later on, he says, as he's fighting the last boss of the game. I might need them. that out of there. Put that in there. Uh, let's put our two ointments in there. Hey, inventory management. Okay. We'll rest again. Cast another improved identify. 
And what have we got? These are just throwing daggers, so we'll just drop them. Not too interested in fiddling around with throwing weapons. Uh, it's just a cloak. Oh yeah. Just as fine. That's their sling pouch. What's in here? There's no stones in here. This one's full of stones. I'm not using the sling either. We can't store other items in there either, can we? No. Okay. Um, I think I just got to drop these as well. I guess we'll check whether that sling is magical. Okay, rest another eight hours. Improved identify. It's just a sling. Okay. There we go. Broadsword. Let's give you the short sword plus one rather than the dagger. Okay. I don't know if there's off hands in this. It seems like you could just swap them around regardless. Like the characters aren't too fussed about whether they're left handed or right handed. Which is nice. Okay. Have we done everything we need to? Seems so. Did I fill up this bag? No, I didn't. Um, really just need another storage box. Get all these notes over here. And this book. Fair. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Save. And we'll go back to the bandit camp because there was a few other items there. I wonder if it's going to if, if there's a chance of like getting too many items in one area and you drop more and it just uh they just disappear or something. Which game am I thinking of that would do that? There was a game where I think if you did that, if you dropped too many items, it actually like stuck items in a bag or something. To lower the amount of like just random items sitting around on the ground. Dagger. I can't remember what I dropped or what I picked up, so let's pick up everything. And rocks. Those were mine. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else here except for those stones. Oh, and the spear over here, but... Eh. Since spears are just throwing weapons. Nothing else over there. Okay. Are each of these areas going to be square or rectangular? Eh! Can't fit between those trees. We're all standing like shoulder to shoulder. That's why we can't go through them. What the heck was that? Oh, it was a warp. It was a war, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh man, that is so much easier. Ah, oh. that was no problem. Hello, oh, the war. <laughs> 
the one behind us? No. Something over here. Nope. Okay. Don't go into the fog. Yeah. Go. Oh. All wargs. Ow. They do deal a fair bit of damage. Oh, bless. Sure, fine, whatever. Heal for one hit point. 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 And do prayer, since we're fighting. There we go. <laughs> Great! I'm glad I spent the time healing you. I actually am, because otherwise you probably would have died from that. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything around there except for stones. <laughs> okay, let's save again and we'll go in here. Hello? Bandits? Count Strud? No. Is it the wargs which are laughing? Get! There we go. Bones. Can't do anything about them. I can't target the Ray's dead on them, can I? <laughs> Hold on. Somehow I doubt it, but I would like to try anyway. Here we go, Ray's dead. It's not like where we're going to be really using these scrolls for anything else. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. It's no big deal. I clicked on them and it wasn't doing anything. It was just a thought. Perhaps they're too far gone, considering that there's no body left. Right, there's just bones. I think you need Resurrect to do that, rather than Raid's Dead. I think they have to be pretty much... ...all together. Uh, for Ray's dead. I'm pretty sure that is a rule of resurrection and all that. If the person's body's too mangled, they can't get raised. Oop. Right, we... ...teleported into the next area. That's to the start area. Yeah, we didn't finish clearing out this area. Because I was fighting. Uh, let's go in here. And down into the basement. And we'll rest. Yes. And we'll go back up. Okay. Also, we'll save. And uh, we'll cast prayer. Okay, so I think there was like the goblins were over this way somewhere. Yeah, there's some.
die. There we go. Keep my frantic clicking into just. Ugh. Go. Wow, that got rid of both of them. Nice. Oh, hey, there's someone sitting around a campfire over there. <laughs> um, I guess we've rescued you. Wham! Okay. Uh, we'll talk to you in a moment. There's all this stuff here. Raised dead, a chest, a shield, two-handed sword, leather armor. Are your items? Oh, you're actually tied up. Hey there, how's it going? Fellow, you've done well to keep your head on your shoulders in this company. Who might you be? Yeah, you've been here for like a few days since we arrived here. Don't you recognize a proud merchant when you see one? Well, I'll admit to being an adventurer first and a merchant second. I was doing some trading when they caught me on the road. So I think the goblins ate my goods and may have been about to do the same to me. Well, don't stand there gawking, cut me loose. Yeah, they keep spelling goblins with a Y. Merchant, eh? Then you understand I'm cutting you loose, but not free. Ah, for free, that is. Can you aid us? What's this? You say you're an adventurer? It's enough you're alive, eh? Can't free yourself in time? Yeah, sure. I mean... I mean, we don't have room in our party, but... By the gods, I do thank you. But as I said, these beasts have all I had, including some of Barovia's finest brandy wine in their belly. All I can offer is my health, at least until some profit comes my way. But till then, my hands would harder yours. Okay. This offer of aid is a vocal one. Forget the profit. I have a feeling that in this dark place, a man of your talents will be useful. I don't actually know what class you are. I wish it, like, showed their stats over here or something. Your willingness to brave the dangers of this land is appreciated, but you've been bound here a while. What say you go home and clean up, eh? You're right. I can stand to shed this goblin stink. I'll be heading home then to enjoy a hot tub of water and a little soap. But I'm not one to forget what you did here, and my offer stands for another time. Whatever you're about, do it smartly and watch your backside. You'll find little welcome along this road. Good luck. Okay. Uh, can we visit you at your house or something? Maybe not. I don't know. No, oh, I was going to say, did he pick up all those items there? He just wandered off, leaving, I suppose, his gear. Hey, there's a two-handed sword. Equip that on you. Actually, I want to check whether it's magical. Cloak scroll of race dead. The Rama. Yes. Swing. Okay, let's see. Leather armor. Fair. Uh, Two-handed sword. Uh, I mean, it's not magical. But apparently that will allow you to hit in the back row. So we'll equip you with that anyway. Uh, it's just a shield. And what was in here? Chain coif, leather helm, or throwing daggers. I'm guessing they're not magical. Just the ground there. Uh, some potions. Shove all of our potions in here again. And a cleric scroll of cure serious wounds. That's nice. Uh, put the potion of speed in there. We don't really need two of those daggers. Composite bow's not magical. Okay, anything else I'm forgetting about here? Doesn't look like it. Oop. Hello. Oh. 
Bonk. Hey, there's some more stuff. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Surrounded. Yes, I didn't want you to go into the fog. A poisonous vapor. Uh. Just save. Uh, potion of healing. Another potion of healing. Oop, lock picks. I don't know if lock picks can break in this game, so we'll pick up another one. There's a pouch and a short sword. What's in this pouch? Ooh, ring of protection. That's pretty swell. Put these potions in there. Okay, who wants this? Ring of protection plus, plus one. Oh, that's where they go, down there. Okay. I need to swap this over to here or something. Yeah, just drop that there. Is there anything else on that skeleton? No. There is something all the way over here, though. I think it's just a rock. Yeah, it's just a rock. Get out of here, rock. Heh! What? Oh. Okay, and on you. There we go. Uh, save. Okay. So I think we have really uh, covered this area pretty thoroughly. There's a few items scattered around, but I'm thinking those are just stones. Okay, we could go south. Uh, how are we going for time? Okay, we might pull it off here for Ravenloft for tonight in a moment. I just want to see what's down here first. Oop. Hello. Oh. Jeez. Okay. An AIDS, not a heal. Well, good thing I saved. Yep. Blop, blop. Okay. Load. Sometimes it's just we're attacking with a flurry of misses. Okay, we'll put a bless on you. Not hold person. Aid. There we go. <laughs> Bandits are confounded by the sign. Duh. There we go. Okay. Save. Okay. I 
wonder what this is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be like... Forest wall? Just like a wall of trees? Or a hedgerow or something? Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything up there. So what's this place? No need to waste time on the gate. I once helped Retaco the smith forge a portcullis with bars that thick. He and I lifted and hammered, burned our hands and learned our lessons. And I tell you, I could lift a treasure vault easier than I could bend those bars. I say we go back. Okay. Uh, we'll just go back to town then, I think. I think we've explored about everything over here. And we'll go rest up in our house and then we'll save it and uh, continue this next time. Yeah. Come on. Get. There we go. Yeah, I did check all the way along the front here. Okay. Or at least we've seen all the way along the front. There's no items hidden there. Okay. Oh, hey, this is your house. <laughs> um. Hello? Welcome to my abode. The Goblin Prisoner! Merchant, you smell much better. Can we share a moment of peace in your humble home? Hi, you're welcome. Good to see you alive. Welcome to Barovia, a forsaken place nestled between the peaks of Mount Baratok and Gakland. But home of the sweetest brandy wine in all of Ravenloft. Ah, as you've no doubt noticed, you'll find few offers of help in this town. And my offer to join you still stands. Well, that's good to know, but uh... Glad you made it to town, sir. You do smell better now that you're free of the goblins, but you need more time to recover. Rest here a while before joining up on anything dangerous. I think we'll just, uh, just leave you to it. I'm going to take that as an invitation that we can just continue tossing our useless junk on the floor. I mean, he's a merchant. He can sell them, you know. Hang on. No, I didn't. Identify that. Uh, I think it was this sword. Okay. Rest. Yes. Improve identify. What have we got? Anything use useful? Leather helm? No. Well, you could wear that. We've got a chain coif as well. You could wear that. And a leather helm on you. Do the leather helmets? Do the helmets do anything in this? If they're not magical. In Baldur's Gate, they stop you from taking critical hits. That's just a long sword. I can put a sack in a... Wow. Okay. I can put a pouch in a sack. <laughs> They're not magical, so that that's not too surprising. But, um... We're not going to be ripping holes in space-time continuum uh, in this game. I could put a chest in a sack as well. That's some like... Heavy duty packing there. Shove you in there. Hold on. Eh. Ugh. There we go. I'll put you in there. I'll put you in there. <laughs> Three layer deep... <laughs> Three layers deep of storage. Um, okay. We'll save it here. And we'll save under here. And session or rest two. 
There we go. Ugh. Ugh. Well, we've got a fair bit of loot there on the floor. Uh, truly living up to the adventurer's the uh, adventurer's uh, stereotype. And we've got multiple quests which we have to do. Uh, actually, I could tick one of these off because we found the bandit camp, so that's done. Uh, we could say we've also gone to the uh, Vistani camp. Uh, we just have to go to that caverns outside of town and use the key on the door. There's also the werewolf. Uh, the old paladin wants us to go into the caverns under town. Now, there was a lock on that door, but apparently there isn't a key for that. So I might have been missing something in regards to that door. Um, though he did say we needed a pick. So maybe I need to use the pick on the door. I'll write that down. Uh... Maybe... Damn it. Use... Pick... On... Door. Okay, there we go. Uh, then we have the Find the Tarot card. Which the, uh... Seer in the camp told us about. And yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Anyway. Ugh. Anyway. We'll save it again just to make sure. And uh, we'll call it there for Strahd's Possession for tonight. This. I'm finding it a lot more enjoyable now that I know that you can just click on the enemies to be able to kill them, rather than having to click on the icons down the bottom. Um, it's much easier. But yeah, I still wish it would pause when you open up the spell books. That was something it would do in the, uh, in the, uh, step square ones. Just made it a bit easier so you could spend time looking around. Though it does make combat a bit more proactive. Oh, and thank you very much for the follow, Destry86. But yeah, we'll call it there for uh, God's possession for tonight. We'll continue with this next time.